Hey, Hakabentai! The name's Coach VIP, and the game is DOA Extreme Venice Vacation. In today's video, we'll be watching all of the match results, our absolute event episodes from this week's event. Additionally, I'll be including some of my own thoughts, opinions, and commentary at the end of the video if you have any interest in hearing what I have to say or what I thought about the episodes. I hope you enjoy today's video. As always, links to community resources and anything I talk about will be included in the description below the video. If you like this content and you want to see more in the future, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, as well as push the bell to get notifications on when I release new videos. I was not the type of girl who feels so good when you have this in it. Now in a jealousy, out of all the girls around, I just got to be the cutest. I'll do anything. Love is an energy. I don't care what other people say. What do you think will find us about love? You give me your heart and you think about you day and night. Think about you in my dreams. Think about you twenty four seven. Are you thinking? Ah, to give a don't know, she must go.
もちろん<笑>嬉しいですえっとどうすればいいのかなそうですね分かりました。Summer and winter time, so now just take it easy. It's lunch time. <laughs> we'll drive away from my guest <laughs> along the sea through the highway. So cool, but what a way to spend Wednesday! Fun time, we need a little <laughs>
れはまずい流れです。逃げちゃったかな楽しんじゃうぞまだまだこれからですもちろんですどうしようかなはいどうぞあれあのえそうですね。いいえ<笑>ええ<音楽>あのー。勝負の結果は絶対
どうしようかな私もです Sit down. まだまだこれからよ<笑>さあ張り切っていくわよ
ねえ<笑>これはどうかなもちろん私も遠慮しないから。次こそは勝ち取ってみせます。
残念。ね。してもいいですかそれで始めます。私は、実際に私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私
in the first episode, you kind of get this idea about Monica where she really is just aspiring to be a dealer. She really has a passion for cards and being a dealer and these things. Uh, and she's beating up on you, the owner, uh, in repeatedly <laughs> whooping your ass at card games. And as the owner, you suggest, hey, well, why don't you get to know some of the other ladies on the island and play some games with them, but also let them decide what it is because obviously Monica has a specialty but you as the owner know that a lot of the ladies on the island have a lot of unique perspective or unique uh, things to offer and that could be a great opportunity for Monica to learn and grow. I think that it was she was caught off guard when she went and met with Kasumi and Honoka and they suggested playing Old Maid which is a you know kind of a random game that one might argue could have some skill involved with it but what it kind of boils down to is that uh, Honoka apparently is just has an ungodly amount of RNGesus on her side so uh, you know future strats I might try to have her do some of my gotcha pulls for me and Kasumi apparently you know follows her fortune and and kind of listens to what I guess the like, higher power spirits guide her to do um, I think that when you look at that in the context of playing these games Monica who is really clever uh, and has a immense amount of skill with cards while old maid isn't exactly a game of skill she uses her skills to try to create better situation for herself particularly because she was getting beaten repeat, <laughs> repeatedly non-stop and uses some sleight of hand to kind of subvert their luck which actually makes Kasumi question whether or not her fortune telling has any merit she openly says like well I guess fortune telling is just hit or miss because you know I was successful with it here and, and then I kept following that same principle and, and I was losing. Monica comes clean and, and mentions that she kind of was using some tricky tactics to be able to get the win. And, you know, I really appreciated that about Monica, kind of bringing that information forward, because while it was a tactic that allowed her to get some W's and, you know, not continue to get beat on by these two, um, I think that putting into perspective for them what the reality of the situation is, because, you know, Kasumi and Honoka, maybe because of their passion and their perseverance and their faith or their you know luck or their just serendipity surrounding them maybe they don't have to be quite as smart and quite as clever and so monica can still respect and appreciate who they are and kind of what they represent i think the thing i really liked about the way the episode series wrapped up was that honoka and kasumi both as the winners in a, just a tremendous show of good sportsmanship declared for their victory uh request that they wanted to play games and learn games that they didn't know that Monica liked to play and that Monica was familiar with and Monica could teach them. And I think that's amazing because it kind of shows that this was more, this wasn't about winning, it wasn't about losing, although Monica, you know, she kind of has that competitive spirit in her. It was about bonding and friendship and things like that. So I really like that. Now, moving on to part two. So, you know, part one featured the part one uh trendies for that week for kasumi and honoka now part two uh, the trendy for the part two week are the maple romance and then still monica's royal flush now i will say that the leifang uh, like vest trendy from two weeks ago or whatever uh seemed really odd here i guess it's kind of of a sporty campy outdoorsy look so all things considered it kind of fit that you know when her next competitor was like, oh yeah, let's have a competition, but it's not going to be cards. <laughs> let's do something I'm good at. Monica still in the face of that, rose to the challenge and totally, totally got her ass whooped. Like, it, was, it wasn't even a contest. They were halfway through and she stopped and cheered Monica on like, you can do it, don't take a break, which I think is hilarious to say the least. Um, but I think the the thing I really liked here again was that at the end it wasn't the focus wasn't so much on like you know the outcome or who won or who lost it was the recognition of 
Monica's desire to persevere in the face of a challenge that was going to be insurmountable. Like, there was no way she was going to win, yet she didn't give up. She didn't take a break. She didn't quit. And on top of that, I think that when Leifang made the request that Monica would join her for training every morning. And she did that with the amazing intention of saying like, hey, I know you are so focused on a dealer, uh, being a coming a dealer, uh, playing cards and things like this. At the same time, I think that I and my physical prowess can add a lot of value to your life. So show up for training in the morning. Let's, you know, go for a run. And this will help you with your stamina. And, and Monica can even recognize that. She had a lot of like kind of context to say yeah you know what i do need to be able to have the stamina to stand and play cards because they both recognize that she has the don't give up attitude um i think that this then becomes you know a segue for them to enhance that relationship and become good friends over the the morning trainings now this transitions into uh the next episode which was uh anything heart uh featuring tamaki now tamaki is one of my team captains easily you know tied for my favorite character or at least up there i think momiji just takes the cake so so you know tamaki uh, tamaki being in an episode always gets me excited and i thought that this was so funny because we had you know the first set of episodes which is you know go ask the people what kind of games they want to or what kind of competition they want to have with you and and let the winner decide what the reward is the first set of games it's old maid which is still cards and the reward is really wholesome you have wholesome people uh in this in the second competition it's a physical match of stamina and speed and perseverance and uh you know totally outside of Monica's wheelhouse. Now he gets a Tamaki, and Tamaki is willing to have not just a card game, but she wants to play poker, which is totally Monica's specialty. Now, Monica's like, well, I'm not gonna hold back on you, and Tamaki's like, no, 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 no don't even worry about it. I'm so confident I'm going to win. Uh, by the way, the rules are the loser of each hand, we're going to play three hands, the loser of each hand has to give the other person a massage. Um, and, the, and then, you know, the winner of the total thing gets a request. And so they didn't clearly define anything beyond the parameters of that. And Tamaki lets Monica know that very quickly. Because Monica, of course, as a poker expert, wins the first game. And Tamaki's like, oh, bummer. Well, I guess I'll just start massaging you then. And Monica's like, great. My feet hurt. I've been running. What are you doing? you haka bentai like tamaki sh that's what's up you know got a lot of love for her one of one of us degenerates big old haka bentai over here uh kind of behaving somewhat inappropriately however tamaki frames this as like from a place of love and trying to develop this friendship like she kind of doesn't necessarily respect everyone's boundaries you can see this in other areas where she's had episodes however in this case tamaki specifically says and this is for monica's good because tamaki kind of knows the scene right the casino scene like old creepy guys kind of whatever and she basically tries to kind of emphasize to monica you got to make sure you clarify what the rules and conditions are because you know i'm being i'm being kind of my goofy silly self and this is what you get when you hang out with me but there's like nasty adults who will try to trick you into doing something you know and die so i think that this was a big win for tamaki across the board because basically tamaki got everything she wanted and she got a uh, dessert date with monica afterward per monica's request now the last episode is kind of just bringing it all together where monica comes and talks to the you know to us the owner and says hey the island's wonderful wonderful people i learned a lot of things i have so many more ways that i can learn and grow and become a more full and whole person while i'm here and so she kind of is like looking forward to the future and i think that these episodes while they're pretty simple in the way that they're designed especially if you look at some of the animations i mean everybody does that idol where they just move their hand to the middle and uh touch a boob and i think that i feel with as many different emote cards as they have and as many different things they could do with this you know i like the the episodes that are a bit more dynamic in their animation uh, at the same time 
I really like what this did for the character development and character arc. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys thought about any of these episodes or this video style down in the comments below. And I'll catch all you Haka Bentai next time. My name's Coach VIP, and thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed your time at Team VIP Headquarters, and we look forward to providing you with more high-quality content in the future. We're just getting started with what we're doing, so be sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. We look forward to collaborating with some of you in the future on the direction that the team should take and how to best develop content that you all want to see. If you're new to the game and you're interested in supporting Team VIP in-game on the Steam English version, be sure to add us. Also, if we happen to introduce you to the game or you have not yet entered a friend referral code, you can be sure to add our code in the referral screen and you and I will both receive free V-Stones. Thank you so much and we'll catch you next time.